five judges being presented and after the third round of dives so for the last two rounds of dives the panel of judges will be changed there are seven other judges will get on the seat for the last two rounds that is uh, to make the competition as even as possible and fair for everyone and here we are 10 o'clock sharp and the first diver is on the board Elit Tuxin from Norway and he wore two and a half somersault tuck for her Good dive, a good dive. We can see Kim White, the head coach of uh, Norway, filming her athlete, filming his athlete. Inward two and a half somersault attack, well executed. Could have uh, jumped higher, but overall a good dive, and uh, six and a half from the judges, and 52.65 points to start off the competition. Next up is. Uh, Patricia Kuhn from Hungary. Patricia is at her second European Championship on three meter, the three meter event. First one was two years ago in Budapest at home. And in order to have Summers of Pike, well executed. Uh, probably not the strongest jump um, off the board, but she squeezes her pike position very well to get all the way vertical. We saw it from the slow motion how she did not grab her hands entering the water. It's overall a good job, 51 points, five and a half, six for her from the judges. Next up, Elna Widerström from Sweden. Well, again, another inward two and a half somersault, but in this case, just like for the first diver, in a tuck position. And nicely done. It's much, much higher than the previous two dives, and spins quite fast in the somersault. The lineup could have been uh, sharper, though. Uh, when she lines up, she slightly lets the legs go over, but overall a good dive again. 54 points and Elna is in first place right now. Caroline Kupka from Norway. She decides to start a competition with her back somersaulting dive, so a back two and a half somersault tuck, 2.8 degree of difficulty. Quite low in the somersaulting. Unfortunately for her, she ends up getting in the water way too short. This is not not excellent at all. Um, it was overall good, it's just not strong enough off the springboard and too slow in the somersault. Four and a half for her, 36.40. She is right now in last place. Here is one of uh, those divers we got to keep an eye on, Michelle Ember. She was second. Uh, she was second uh, in 2021 in Budapest in this event. Excuse me, she was second last year in Rome, 2022, in this event, behind Chiara Pellacani from Italy. Uh, very good jump off the board. The somersaulting is uh, slow, and that causes the dive to finish still a little bit short and not completely straight when getting in the water. Higher DD, it's a high DD, 3.0 degree of difficulty that helps her get total total score of 58.5, and she jumps ahead of everyone. Elisa Pizzini now from Italy, same dive for her. We have not seen a hurdle yet. All the first six divers and many other in this first round decide to start with a standing dive. Good job by the Italian. Seemed to me uh, from the live shot that she jumps 
to the right side of the board, and we see it here very well, how she pushes the dive to the right side. The judges might have noticed that, and six is for her, 54 points, and she's in second with Elna from Sweden. Home diver from Poland, Kaya. She's uh, also doing an inward two and a half summers of pike. I was quickly checking. There are only seven divers out of 25 that are not starting with a standing dive, but they're doing a, a hurdle in the first dive. So not that many. Not even one out of three. That's probably most likely because of uh, not wanting to risk uh, to having to deal with a bad hurdle just to start off the competition, standing, keeping the balance. Uh, it's easier to keep the balance when standing and not doing the hurdle. That's probably why most of the divers do that. It was a good dive uh, overall for uh, Kaya Sherkert. 49.50 for her. She's in sixth right now. And now Teresa, the youngest diver here today. Back one and a half, some of one and a half sweep. An easy dive for her. Just a 2.4 degree of difficulty. It's a, an easy lead she's competing today, but is, that is understandable. Extremely young diver from uh, Prague. Good dive, sixes for her. Again, the degree of difficulty is very low, so probably a dive that is below average in order to be in the top 12 at the end of this morning's preliminary round. Next up, Alexandra Blazowska from Poland. Front two and a half somersault pike. Not bad uh, in the air, off the board and in the air. It's the entry that is not perfect. She left the dive short and not the cleanest entry possible. Probably should have grabbed her hands harder and stronger, holding them together when entering the water. Sixes and a 43 points for Alexandra. Dajarina now from the Great Britain. Forward two and a half summers of Pike with full twist. Well executed. Very strong, but did not get a super strong jump off the board. She could have gone much higher. We see it here, her shoulders while jumping just drop very fast towards the water instead of going up towards the ceiling when jumping. That makes the dive a little bit low, but not bad to start the competition. She is in second at 54 points. Same score as Elisa Pizzini and Elna Widerstorm. Here's Anna Pizmenska. European champion in um, 2017 in the three meter event. Same dive as the British diver before her. Does a good job uh, getting somewhat vertical, but the hurdle and uh, jump off the board is not very elegant. Again, it's once again, we have seen her also in the mixed synchro struggling with her hurdles and circle arm. She just does not keep her arms straight while circling her arms, and that is just not pleasant to see. Anna is also in second place with three other divers at 54 points even. And while Rocio Velasquez from Spain showing us her inward to half somersault pike, I was uh, checking to in order to be 12th and uh, having a spot in the final. Last year in Rome, 235 points were needed. That means an average of 47 points, which is usually a low-scoring uh, average competition. I, I'm expecting to see better here today. And uh, Rocio does much better than that. 58-50 for her on her first dive. Well-executed inward to now summer fight. So yeah, as all the other events we have had here in uh, in Sheshov, all the averages 
votes for the prelims and the finals have been higher than the last year's European Championship. So I guess it's a higher level of diving overall here in Cheshire than last year. And also, Emilia from Sweden shows us there that a very well executed back to nav somersault pike. Very nice. It is most likely the best dive of the round so far. And uh, yes, the judges agree with me. Seventh from all the judges, 63 points. And now Emilia steps ahead of everyone. In first place, 63 points. A five point, four and a half points lead for her ahead of Michelle Amber and Rocio Velasquez. Celine Van Duen from, from uh, the Netherlands. Inward to half. Nicely done. A good uh, above average dive, not very strong off the springboard. The jump of the springboard is not very high, but uh, still manages to get on her head. Not completely straight. We saw it here entering the water. But a good dive, sixes, and she sits at 64. Next up is Emily Forrester. Forward two and a half somersault pike. Off rhythm on the board, but an easy dive. She still has uh, all the time she needs to line up. Average dive probably. Her elbows are not completely locked and straight in the in the water when entering the water yeah just slightly be below average 45 to 60 for her probably could have done a better job getting a perfect entry Lauren Alaselka now from uh, Finland forward to now somersault full twist and Lauren does a good job uh, 3.0 degree of difficulty she struggled a little bit with a hurdle leaning to the left side of the board does it, that does not bother her too much and uh, gets the best out of a not so perfect takeoff so final now six is 52 50 is still a good dive to start off the competition Saskia Ottinghaus now inward two and a half somersault pike for the German diver short she pushes her hips way too far back before extending her legs and getting a pike the dive is very low very very low I was expecting a better better dive from the German diver uh, 4950 for her um, she is uh, one of the divers looking for a medal here today and uh, she wants to do better than that if she wants a medal today for sure. Claire Cryant now forward two and a half somersault full twist. dive especially the lineup and the entry very clean the twist could have been straighter she is a bit piked while while twisting but it's just one twist so it's very fast seventh from the judges and she goes up in first place with Emilia Nielsen grip Grace Reed now from Edinburgh Great breathing. Same dive as Claire before her. And another great dive in. My opinion, even better than the Irish diver. Very strong diver. Grace Reed. 
has been around for a long time now and is here today definitely definitely aiming for gold after last year in Rome did not have a great day in the pool and and ended up in uh, seventh place so she has today a new chance to showing us how what a great diver she is next up is Juliette Landy from France in word two and a half summers of tuck for Juliet. 16 years old. Uh, it's okay. It's an okay dive. Overall, she ends up getting in the water vertical and uh, all the way straight. It's just not the perfect come out. We'll see it here. When she comes out of the tuck position, she grabs her hand and her knees are still completely um, so it's still completely bent. So even though it's a very good entry, the scores are not too high, six, six and a half. And uh, Juliet sits at 51.30 points in 13th place. Reigning champion in this event, Chiara Pelacani, inward, uh, excuse me, back two and a half summers of Pike. 3.0 degree of difficulty. Uh, a dive that ends up being too far over entering the water um, not not too bad but not fantastic for uh, for her we have seen her do a much better job with her dive also her legs are not completely straight in the air she might want to do better if she, if she make the final which we all expect from her she'll do she must do better this afternoon if she wants to win again. Estila Mosina. Estila was a junior diver for Italy and then moved uh, to Budapest where her mom was born and uh, just dual citizenship decided to dive uh, at the senior level for Hungary. She starts with a back to an half somersault tuck Five for her from the judges, 42 points for Estilla. <laughs> Lena Henschel now, inward two and a half somersault pike for the German diver, 3.0 degree of difficulty. Lena has been. Uh, European champion, champion twice, but always in synchro, and uh, never had a top 10 result in this event at Europeans. She has been 11, 12, and 13 in the past in this event. She definitely wants to do better here today. Five and a half, sixes, 52, 50. And Lena is in 13th place after her first round of dive. Next up is uh, Cara Albiez from Austria, back one and a half somersault, one and a half twist, 2.4 degree of difficulty. Not very high. The jump off the springboard uh, doesn't go too high because of her, uh, her quickness in getting in the twist. The come out of the twist of the twist is fine. She line, lines up vertical. It's just the dive is not very very explosive off the board. Five and a half for Cara, and uh, now she is in. Uh, 23rd place with 37 points. Last diver of this first round of dives, Madeleine from Switzerland, inward two and a half somersault pike for her. She needs seven and a half to get in first place and sixes to get in the top 12. It's okay. It's a good dive. Not Again, another dive that doesn't get very explosive off the board. 
definitely getting up there in the top 12 after this dive and we'll soon see yeah here are the scores 57 points she is in sixth place so as of right now we have uh, grace reed claire cryan and emilia nielsen grip in the top three spots of the rankings and in 12th place after first round well there's a after the first round there are a bunch of divers actually six divers sitting in seventh place together at 54 points and that's uh, that's where where our 12th spot is actually because of all the the divers sitting at the same score but obviously just one dive and most of the divers had the same degree of difficulty that happens often in the first round let's see how the second round goes front three and a half somersault tuck for Ella Tuxen 2.8 degree of difficulty she was 13th she was the first diver after that group of six divers at 54 points she was sitting at 52 65 six is six and a half for her a total on this dive total of 54 points for LA 107 total after two rounds next up Patricia from Hungary front two and a half Somerset Pike oh uh, too bad she did not get a a great hurdle um, very very low jump on the hurdle and she kept that momentum throughout the dive even though it's a very easy dive just two and a half somersault she still did not manage to get all the way vertical low scoring dive for her 40.80 and now we have Elna Witherstrom ninth place for her uh, excuse me seventh one of the divers that was sitting in seventh place at 54 points front three and a half somersault tuck Oh, nicely done. Nice, very good way of uh, spinning in the air, somersaulting. Even though her toes were a bit over the end, coming down from the hurdle, she squeezes the tack very well and picks up a lot of spin in order to get all the way vertical in the water. Seventh from the judges and 58.80 points on this round put her at a total of 112.80. Caroline Kupka. She did not do a great job with her back to up somersault tuck in the first round and does a bit better here on the reverse to up somersault tuck. Very high up in the air. Still, again, the dive ends up being uh, quite over past the vertical, vertical line in the entry. Six and five and a half from the judges. 84 total point for Caroline. Kupka and uh, quite below average. She needs to step up with the last three dives if she wants to dive again this afternoon. Michelle Emberg now. Forward two and a half somersault full twist. Oh, she recovers very well. The hurdle was completely wrong. She will see, hopefully, from the slow motion how from the hurdle she steps way too far back on the board. Still gets very high and fast enough to get all the way vertical. But the judge deducted a few points because of the bad hurdle and the fact that because of that she had to push it down to get enough speed to finish the dive so six and a half for her 115.50 and Michelle is in first Elisa Pizzini forward to have somersault full twist same dive but not well executed at all she even though she's very strong diver on this dive she just lets the dive fall down instead of jumping high up in the air and that ends up being a very short dive Huge mistake for the Italian on this round. 94.50 total points after two dives. And that might not be enough 
Elisa did make the final last year in Rome. She is aiming for that again here today. Kaya Sklerzik forward three and a half somersault pike for the diver from Poland. Another dive that ends up being uh, too far short. The speed uh, was excellent, but the jump was uh, too low in order to have uh, enough space to get all the way vertical. And these, uh, the, the dives, the, uh, the option on dives must always be in a perfect combination of how high the diver jumps and how fast he or she spins in the somersault. And uh, it happens often that the dive uh, could be very fast somersaulting uh, or very high, but do not have the other aspect of uh, the dive. So very high but low or very fast but low. And uh, so the divers don't get the result they want. Sixes for Teresa Jelinkova, is Maling Teresa Jelinkova. Sixes for her, 87.60 total points after two dives for the youngest diver here today. Next up is Alexander Blazowska from Poland. Back to now, Somerset Pike. And nicely executed. We hear the Polish crowd screaming for her very loudly here today. She did a great job holding on to that pike position as long as possible because the takeoff was not perfect. But above average for her in this dive, five and a half, six, actually six, six and a half for her. And a very good job for Alexandra. 98.70 points for her. She is in fourth place at the moment. The journey now from um, Great Britain. Forward three and a half summers of pipe. Well executed. Well executed. Uh, it's all the way vertical. Uh, good. The, the entry and the overall dive is not bad. Uh, we have seen her in practice uh, jumping better up in the air. This, this dive could have been a uh, higher scoring dive but she would have waited longer for the springboard to let her go up in the air but six and a half from the judges and uh, the journey is in second place right now at 114 just a point behind Michelle Emberg who is still leading so far and up his men's canal a forward three and a half summers of pike oh huge mistake for the former European championship uh, former European champion a uh, big, big mistake for for Anna. No circle arm at all. She she did the hurdle and never moved her arms behind her and all the way up. She, other than that, she also held on to the pike position for a long, long time and goes way too far over. Not even 30 points for her and her spot in the final is at risk now. Rocio Velasquez. Same dive for the Spanish diver. And a short entry for Rocio, for the diver from, from Madrid. The hurdle was a, a bit sideways on the left. And when getting in the water, the entry is very heavy. A lot of splashes because she didn't grab her hands and was uh, quite short. It's okay for her coach though, 112 and 75 points for the Spanish diver in fourth place at the moment. Emilia Nilsson Grip now, same dive for the, Swider, for the Swedish, Swedish diver. And same as uh, Anna Pizmenska, a uh, hurdle was not too bad in, in her case, but she, same as the Ukrainian diver, she just kept holding on to the pike position and goes 
way too far over. Way too far far over for sure. Four and a half, uh, four and a half five from the judges. Forty three point forty points. Mistakes like this one from Emilia, which is one of the best divers we have here in competition today. Mistakes like this are the cause of a low average in preliminary round. And uh, these mistakes uh, give a chance of uh, divers that are at least on paper not as good still have a chance to make the final. Same thing happened here for, from Celine from the Netherlands. Three, three and a half, a big mistake for her. She was completely short in the entry, did not grab her hands. Another good diver. Celine is a former European champion, but on the 10 meter platform. So I did not ex expect such a mistake from her on this dive. Next up is uh, uh, next up on the board, we just saw Arme Amelie from uh, Romania dive and former inward two now comes to touch. Not excellent. Uh, another dive that does not get very high up in the air. Um, she manages to get somewhat vertical and straight, but five and a half from the judges. Average dive there for Amelie. 44 points for her. Lauren Alaselka, Finnish diver who is going to move to the United States next August uh, to go and uh, go to school, study and dive at UCLA University. She'll be Eden Chang's uh, teammate there. Eden uh, won two days ago the 10 meter platform final here at European. And Lauren uh, gets four and a half goes too far over on her front three and a half somersault pike. 94 points for her after two dives. Saskia from Germany, a forward two and a half somersault pike full twist for the German diver. A little struggle on the hurdle uh, for Saskia with a very noise, a lot of noise, very noisy hurdle off rhythm. Um, the jump though was good. She came out of the pike position very early, slowing down the dive, and that's that's the reason why she ends up being uh, quite short and not vertical. Five and a half, six for her, 51 points, 100 total points in seventh place. The German diver, Claire Cryan now, the 18th diver diving in this uh, second round of dives. Claire is showing us a back to half somersault tuck. A oh, good entry, a very good entry. Watching it live, uh, it seemed to me from my position that she split her feet a little bit. We'll see it here. One, two somersault, and when getting in the water, she split her feet a little bit. Probably the judges did not notice that watching from exactly sideways uh, 56 points for the Irish diver 119 and she is in first place very good job in the first two dives uh, for Claire 63 and 56 points way above average not bad at all great read now same dive but in a pike position and didn't seem very good off the board but she does a great job staying with it Staying in the pike position, staying with the somersault, keep on spinning instead of coming out early and land on her back. She also splits her her feet a little bit getting in the water, probably because she arched a little bit in order to get all the way vertical. That's a good job with that, 54 points. And Grace is the new leader of this uh, competition, 121.50 total points. Juliette from France now on the board. Juliet, uh, Juliet is the 20th diver. She still has five divers after her diving, and in order to be in the top 12, she needs five and a half from the judges on this front. Three and a half somersault tuck. Bad hurdle. Oh, good job with that. A very, very bad hurdle for the young French diver. 
You see how she was completely over the end with her toes. Not very high. Good thing she held on to the tight position and got vertical in the water. Little disappointed face for her getting out of the water. Four and a half. This could have been much, much worse than that because of that hurdle. But good job recovering. 36 points. Definitely below average, but this could have been worse. And uh, Chiara Pelacani on the board right now. Forward two and a half. Somersault full twist. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done by the Italian diver. Uh, the dive could have been uh, closer to the board. We have seen her doing it better. But after that takeoff, she did a great job technically. All the arm movements are very well executed and gets a good M3. Chiara is now at 170 point, 17 points in third place. Estila Mosina, reverse two and a half, somersault tuck. Nicely done, perfectly vertical. Estila does a good job with her, uh, with her dive uh, after a little mistake in the previous round on the back to half somersault tuck. She does much better here. Sixes from the judges. 50 points for Estilla. And a big smile also for her. Now, Lena Henschel forward three and a half somersault pike. And Lena needs a... Lena needs a seven and a half if she wants to get the lead. She was 14th after the first round. And will not get seven and a half and the lead for sure. She went way too far over. Another, not, not a huge mistake, but another dive that is not what we expected from such a talented athlete. Remind you that Lena was bronze medalist in Tokyo in the three meter synchronized final with Tina Punzel and uh, mm, below average for her in this dive, 38 points. She's in six, 16th place. Not too far from uh, just three points behind 12th place at the moment, but definitely we were expecting much, much more from her. Forward two and a half, somersault pike. For Austrian diver, Cara Albiez. She does a good job overall getting vertical, not very tight in her core when entering the water. Could have done a better job lining that up in the water. With a big smile for Cara as well as uh, Estilla before. She's happy with her performance. Five and a half for her, 75 points for the Austrian diver. Last diver of the second round of dives. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck for Madeline from Switzerland. And then we'll have the rankings after two rounds of dives. A good dive overall for Madeline, who needed just four and a half from the judges to be in the top 12 ranked divers after two rounds of dives. Uh, she'll get much more than that for sure. Exactly sixes from the judges. She jumps in ahead. Uh, she jumps ahead of uh, Saskia Ottinghaus from Germany, and she's in tenth. So we have the rankings after two rounds of dives, and we can tell you we have Grace Reed in first, Claire Cryan from Ireland in second, and Chiara Pelacan in third. Right now in 12th place, we have Alexandra Blazowska from uh, Poland. The 21 years old diver from Poland is sitting at 98 points. Big names behind her that should be in the final tonight, but as of right now, our training behind are Lena Enschel and uh, uh, Elisa Pizzini and also Lauren Alaselka in uh, 13, 14, and 17th place. And we expect these three divers, also Celine Van Duin in 22nd and Anna Pizmenska in 24 are divers that I expected to be in the final this afternoon but have done not so good this morning so far. Let's see how the third round of dive goes. Ali Tuxen, nicely done. She was in eighth place after two rounds of dives. Good, uh, a good dive uh, overall for her. 
probably just around average, around the 50 points mark. Yeah, 49, 50, five and a half for her. Could have been better in the entry, but she should be somewhat happy with that. Patricia Kuhn now from Budapest. A forward two and a half summers of full two, same dive as Ella before her. That's very low off the board. This dive just should have been much, much higher in order to then get her all the way vertical. This very short does not even grab her hands getting in the water. And uh, she ends up getting 40.50 points total, 132 after three rounds of dive. Elna Widerstrom from Sweden, a back to and a half somersault pike for the Swedish diver who was in uh, sixth place after two rounds of dive. That was a very strong jump, explosive jump off the board. Um, probably too strong for, uh, for her. Very high, very fast in that pike position, very sharp, but then also too far over the vertical line in the entry, four and a half below average, 42 points only for her in this third round. She will uh, fall back in the rankings. She was sixth before uh, this round dies, and she'll end up uh, further down in the rankings after three rounds of dives. Caroline Kupka, see if she can uh, recover after a not so good first round of dives. And again, another dive that ends up being uh, too far short. And uh, she seems like she doesn't doesn't want to to push as hard as possible on this dive. It's not too hard. To be honest, uh, she, she, I was expecting a higher jump here from her. Four and a half, 36 points, another dive below average for her. And probably not too happy with that. Michelle Heinberg now, fourth place for her after a previous round of dives. Forward three and a half, Somerset Pike. them on the hurdle but overall a good job by Michelle see the athletes her her coach um, the dive was okay the hurdle wasn't perfect still again just like the round before too far inside the board uh, and that causes the dive to be short at the end but way above average for her 63 points she's in first place at almost 180 points, 179.05. Elisa Pizzini, the Italian diver who had a, quite a mistake before, now is performing a uh, front three and a half somersault pike. And another huge mistake for her, and that does not line up at all getting in the water. She stayed completely pike getting in the water. I don't understand why what went through her head because she's very strong she's capable here uh, she doesn't even move her arms getting in the water uh, she's very strong she I guess she just doesn't believe in her chance of getting vertical and does not do anything to line up force for the from the judges for the Italian diver and now on the board, Kaya Skrezek, back two and a half, Somerset Pike. Oh, way too short. And another dive we see from uh, one of the ladies in this morning's prelims that doesn't seem to get off the board high enough in order to have uh, enough space to get vertical 
fours from the judges for uh, Kaya, and she's at 124 point, total points of three rounds of dives in sixth place at the moment. Next up, Teresa Yelinkova from Prague. Inward two and a half somersault tuck. Nicely done. Uh, not excellent. The takeoff uh, wasn't dangerously close, but it's not uh, not high enough. She moved her shoulders a little bit inside the board before taking off. That caused the dive to not being very high and uh, take distance, but. Seven, six and a half was not bad at all overall for such a young, talented diver. Um, 54 points above average, and she's in fourth place. She could take advantage of all the mistakes that are happening around her in this prelim. Oh, big mistake on the hurdle for uh, Alexandra Blazowska. Her toes were completely over the air hand of the board, and... Uh, she just ends up being way too far short and away, very distant from the board. And we see the reaction in the Polish crowd faces. Two and a half threes, huge mistake for Alexandra, who was in 12th place before and will for sure drop down in the rankings. 122 points for her after three rounds of dives. British diver Dajarna Bent Hashmail back to half summer's pike. Nicely done. Very good job. Way above average. Much, much better than what we have seen uh, so far from other divers in the same exact dive. Sevens and seven and a half from the judges. And Dajarna is going to get ahead of everyone in the rankings. She's in first place at 180 points. Anna Pismenska, huge mistake for her on the front three and a half somersault pike and now she has a back two and a half somersault pike. Better, better than the round before. Again, another dive that uh, we have seen it perform much better in the past. Uh, the pike position, I've seen it live, was not perfect. Her knees are slightly bent, and uh, also this dive for her from her goes uh, over, not as bad as the one before. Six from the judges, 54 points. Uh, that was a huge mistake in the previous round for Anna. Let's see if she can recover with the next two rounds. Because as of right now, she is still below average. Rocio Velasquez, reverse two and a half, somersault, Pike, completely missed. She, on the takeoff, we see it here. She brings her shoulders too far back, goes complete to the side of the board, and goes too far over. This is a, it is a huge mistake for the Spanish diver. Force from the judges below average. I thought it was even worse than that. In my opinion, I would have scored it a little bit lower than that. Uh, that's, I guess that's good for Rocio. 40 points, 153 total points after three rounds of dives. Emilia from Sweden, same dive, and wow, this is excellent. Very, it seems like it's a super easy dive for her. Very high, up in the air, elegant, sharp in the pike position. The knees are perfectly straight, and the entry is nice and clean. Seven and a half and eight for her, 69 points. 175 after a mistake in the third, in the second round of dives, Emilia steps up and does an excellent reverse two and a half somersault pike. Seven, 175 points for her. Celine Van Duin from uh, the Netherlands back to half somersault pike. Celine took uh, some time off from diving last season and uh, decided to come back here at Europeans on Springboard. She has been an excellent, excellent uh, platform diver. 
European champion in Glasgow 2018. Sixes for her from the judges. And she recovers after a not so good uh, second round of dives. Back to now, Somerset Tuck for Romanian diver Forster. Amelie Forster does a not so excellent job. She ends up being way too short in the entry. Four and a half, five for her, and uh, a little bit too far be behind. Uh, the average as of right now. It's going to be hard for her to make the final. She's at 130 points total. Lorena Selka now. Who excellent entry. What an amazing lineup for her. She comes out at the perfect time and uh, reaches back with her hands in the right way in order to get a very, very clean entry. Sevens from the judges, 61 points, put her in fifth place. Next up is uh, Saskia Ottinghaus. A forward three and a half somersault pike. We see her focusing here. And a good job by the German diver. Solid dive. A very good front three and a half somersault pike. Probably not the highest we have seen and that we will see throughout the competition. But uh, did, we saw it from the slow motion. She did not grab her hand. The entries, this is why divers, uh, this is why I say, uh, I talk about the hand in the, the entry. I'll explain you briefly. A flat hand on the entry makes uh, the diver uh, break the surface of the water better and create uh, uh, create that room and space for the body of the diver to enter the water and splash less and create less splashes coming out of the water. Um, so when divers do not grab their hands, uh, they don't have a clean entry as well as the, the, one, the times that they do. Uh, it is almost, it is one of the basic aspects in uh, diving that you learn at a young age. Uh, good job by Claire Cryan now. I, I saw another excellent dive by her. She's in first place right now in front of the journey at 181.62 points with this dive for Claire. Very strong diver from Ireland. Grace Reed now, the leader after two rounds of dives. Reverse to half somersault hike. And nicely done, even though her hurdle was uh, not perfect. She will see it from the slow motion probably. Our feet are uneven, we saw it here. Uneven feet when squatting the board. She held on to the pike position long enough to get completely vertical and even slightly over. Six and a half from the judges. And Grace is, uh, she loses the lead after this dive. 177, just four points behind Claire Cryan, who's in first. We have four divers in four points. And actually, five divers in six points between Claire Cryan in, Cryan in first and Emilia Nilsson Garib in fifth. There are just six points. And after that, a little gap of 15 points behind Emilia, uh, behind Emilia where Saskia is sitting at in sixth place. We saw Juliette Landy from France back to half somersault tuck. Six is uh, from the from the judges, and the young French diver is sitting in 13th place now at 130 points. Chiara Pelacani now on the board a forward three and a half somersault pike for her. Chiara needs uh, sixes. Uh, excuse me, no, much less than that. 
Okay, she needs Greece to get in the top 12. She does a much better job than that. Much, much better. Her hurdle was, we saw it here, completely the left side of the board. She squeezed that pike position very, very well. And the clean entry is uh, very, very beautiful to watch. Um, sevens for her from the judges. And Kata is in fourth place at 179. Uh, 179 even. So in fourth place, right behind uh, Michelle Ember. And now within six points, we have six divers. It's still a Mosina. Forward to now, Summers of Full Twist. Uh, not very fast. That's the reason why when she was about to get in the water, she did not complete the, complete the movements required to get all the way straight. The entry is not clean. And the judges give her four and a half, five, forty-two points, and she's in sixteenth place at one hundred thirty-four, uh, slightly at risk. Now, let's see. Estila is at one hundred thirty-four, and twelfth place is at one hundred forty-one points at the moment. While well, still, we'll still have uh, still have three divers to dive. First one of these divers is Lena Enchel. Back to now, Summers of Pike. Better, better dive for Lena than what she has done so far in the competition. So she was at 91 points, so an average of uh, 45 points, 46 points, and she does much better on this dive where she gets a total of 52 points. She is in 12th place at the moment. Next up is Cara Albiez, 24th diver in this uh, round of dives. She was 25th, did not have very high scoring uh, dives, and especially her release is not very difficult. DB wise, DB of the DB wise. Uh, this is her hardest dive of the competition, and I gotta say, she does a great job with that compared to what she's done before. Very strong off the board, uh, and vertical, completely vertical. This is by far her best dive, 52 and 50. Huge smile from Kara. Uh, she must be very happy with that. 52.50 put her at a total of 128 points. Last dive of this third round, Madeline from uh, Lausanne, Switzerland. Forward to now, somersault, full twist. Nice job. Uh, it seemed to me, watching it live, that uh, she did not grab her hands, and that's the only thing I would say about it. The dive is well executed. We saw it here again. Yeah, we saw it here in this slow motion. The entry is not clean, just because she doesn't take her time to grab all the way at her hand. She, this, this dive could have scored instead of sixes, seven and a half easily if she only would have grabbed her hand. As a coach, I would have only corrected that. We have the rankings here after three rounds of dives, 181 points for Claire Cryan, the Journey from Great Britain at 180, and Michelle Emberg at 179. But you can see how the top top six divers are within uh, six points and it's very close competition we take a look at the 12th ranked diver Rocio Velasquez she has a 10 point advantage uh, and she has ahead of Lena Enchel in 13th 153 points for Rocio that means 51 points a dive. As I said before, at the beginning of the competition, the average last year to be top 12 was 47 points. And as I expected, as of right now, uh, this average uh, required to be in the top 12 is higher, 51 points. Keep that in mind for the last two rounds of dives. As of right now, that's what divers need to be top 12 and dive again tonight. Ellie took in ninth place so far.
she was at 156. That means 52 points a dive average for her. Reverse to half Somerset Pike. Strong hurdle. And nicely done. This should go above average again for her. Uh, very, very good. Uh, uh, the toes were slightly off the board. The pike position could have been better. And uh, I was expecting more from the judges, I guess, that not so well executed pike position made her scores go down a little bit. But 51 points. She's happy with it. Probably a risky dive for her. Usually reverse and uh, back and reverse. Uh, the back and reverse dives are the risky ones for most of the divers. She seemed happy with that. Patricia Kuhn, again, another reverse two and a half somersault, but in a tuck position now and completely missed by the Hungarian diver. Way too far short, short getting in the water. We saw it from this slow motion, how she grabs up to her knees in the tuck position. That's not correct. Also, the jump was not high at all, and uh, that causes the dive just to go too far short. Three and a half from judges, 161 dives. And for Patricia, uh, probably she might not have any chance of making the final anymore after this big mistake. Now on the board, Elna Biederstrom from Sweden Reverse, soon have Somerset Pike. Another mistake for her. She was in great shape after the first two dives, and uh, then she had a, a couple of mistakes. Even though she was in 11th place before this dive, she might lose again a couple of spots in the rankings just five five and a half 48 points it is below average we'll see we'll see how it goes but elna is now in second place and la tuxen gets ahead of her with this dive Ooh, huge mistake by carolina on the hurdle and uh, she completely uh buckled with her knee and legs and slips on her back on the board. Ooh, that, uh, that is quite scary when that happened. It's dangerous because uh, in that moment when they press the board, divers have their arms behind them and when they fall on the board, they could have uh, their wrists and elbows still behind them. It is also mentally very hard to re retake a dive. Yeah, we see Kim White not very happy about it. Uh, she does a great job after, though, um, on the retake of the dive. So, uh, as I was saying, it's mentally very difficult uh, to, after you buckle like that, and especially after you smack your back on the board. Um, yeah, very disappointed Caroline Kupka here under the shower, just trying to relax after this dive. Um, it is very hard. A lot of the bad thoughts go through your mind after something like that happens. On the retake, you're worried that could happen again, and a, a, a second um, barking would mean a failed dive. So it's not easy. She did a good job with that. Um, it would have been a five and a half for her, but since of the penalty, just three and a half for Caroline Kupka on that dive, 30 total points and 150 total. Probably no chances for her of making the final after that. Michelle Emberg now back to now Somerset Pike. Nicely done. Very good job. I got to say, um, it was very good for Michelle Emberg to not having to deal with a hurdle on this dive because I can tell you that having to dive, uh, having to do a hurdle as the very next diver after someone that had to retake the hurdle and redo the dive and taking a penalty, that also is mentally not <laughs> not nice. Um, also, because if you're not mentally strong enough, you, you, you might start thinking, oh, what if that happens to me as well, and stuff like that. So it was uh, good for Michelle that she did not have to deal with all those thoughts. Uh, back to now, somersault Pike for Elisa Pizzini from Italy as well. Elisa was in 21st place. She did make the final last year, and this is a, a dive that goes above average, but still not enough probably to be back in the top 12 after this round of dives. She will need a great a reverse three, uh, two and a half somersault pike in the last round of dives if she wants to be in the top 12. 
maybe she'll need also some help from her rivals in this preliminary round, some mistakes by the other divers, some help by them. Kaya Skeretek from Poland, reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Ah, that was a good top, solid takeoff by the Polish diver. Unfortunately for her, she just goes too far over in the entry. See it here when she comes out of the tuck position, it's too late, and the dive goes over. So five and a half. This dive is below average, and 46 points. She goes at 170. Teresa Jelinkova, 14th place for her after the first three dives. Back to a half somersault tuck. She has done an excellent job so far for being so, so young, 14 years old. This is impressive. Oh, and I probably jinxed it for her. I'm sorry about that. But she was doing an excellent job so far. And I gotta say, she's very young, so not. Not everyone at this young age performed this dive. A back to a somersault tuck, and she shows that she's strong enough to actually go over. She had a kick earlier for us. She seems happy, she seems happy with that a big smile, and that's the right attitude, especially at such a young age. Um, she is still smiling even though she missed her dive, but doesn't matter. She has plenty of time to go back home and keep on working, improving and be back next year at Europeans, aiming for a better result. Uh, Alexandra Blaskowska, inward two and a half somersault pike. And uh, Alexandra is impossible not to notice uh, by the judges how far to the right side of the board she jumps. That is, uh, this is not good. Um, we see it here, completely tilted to the right and uh, sideways. And that, that movement to the side doesn't give you the time. You're doing that instead of jumping and diving. The actual jump helps you go away from the board. And some divers are afraid of the board on the inwards, and so they decide to go sideways instead of just taking time to jump. Not only is not nice to see and to look at, but also makes the dive being very, very low and not having room to get straight. That, that's what happened to Alexandra, and in the same time, I was explaining that we saw the Jarnet bent Ashmail, reverse two and a half somersault, okay dive, below average for sure, because when coming out of the pike position, she kept on pulling back with her hands and goes way too far over. Yeah, below average, 45 points for her on this dive. She did an amazing job before, so she's not at risk. But she falls 20 points behind Michelle Engberg. They were very close. They were two of the divers that were within the top six divers within six points. And now Michelle has a 20 points advantage, advantage to the British diver. Anna Pismenska reverse to enough summers of Pike. Wow, she, she does an amazing job in the air, stopping the rotation and getting good entry. But the, the, the hurdle and takeoff are definitely not good. We saw it here. I do not understand why she just drops her arms in front of her instead of behind her and helping herself getting high. Uh, probably she, she she has been doing that for such a long time that she's probably not able to correct it anymore. It became an automatism. And uh, oh well, six is from the judges. 189 points in fifth place. Rocio Velasquez, she was 12th after the th first three dives. Back to now, somersault tuck. Good job, good job. I don't know if she, she, this, this could be around average uh, or slightly be below, but she does a good job with a backward rotation that I know she does not enjoy doing. Yes, exactly. So the this is right there around average 50 points. She's uh, she's happy with that. 
This could have been uh, much, much better, but also being a risky dive for her, she could have gone. She could have done much worse with that. Emilia needs some grip. Forward two and a half somersault full twist. Nicely done. She has no problem getting uh, up there between, uh, probably between Michelle and Dejarne. Probably going to sit in second place uh, after this dive. Yes, exactly. That's exactly how it goes. Sevens from the judges, 63 points, way above average, and um, good job. And Emilia is in second right now. Next up is Celine Van Duin. She was in 15th. She wants a great dive uh, to get back within the top 12 ranked divers, and unfortunately she does not get that. And that was way, way too low in the somersault. Low, low in the jump and slow in the somersault. Just uh, never picks up any speed and rotation. And we see Inge Jansen and Else pressuring her teammates. Just commenting on that on the stands. And uh, three and a half for Celine. And most likely she will not be back here this afternoon for the final after this huge mistake. Amelie Furster, first two and a half, Somerset, Tuck. Oh, nicely done. The Romanian diver does a good job with this. She needed five and a half to be in the top 12 ranked divers, but she was 20th before, probably too far behind. She gets sixes. Sixes, so as of right now, she's in ninth place, but there's still a long way to go before the end of this fourth round of dives. Lauren Alaselka from Finland, reverse and a half somersault pipe for her. Lauren was in 10th place. Oi, another diver that stops on the board. Her hurdle was completely wrong. It will, uh, if we're like, we'll see it from the slow motion completely to the left side on the corner with both feet. Not enough room to press the board and push strong enough to complete a two and a half somersault. Another bad hurdle, but oh, she recovers very well. Amazing, amazing job in the air. Uh, yeah, we see her here in slow motion taking a deep breath before retaking the dive. We saw it from this view how her toes were over the end also on the second hurdle. But look what a good come out from the somersault and a nice lineup. Uh, this could have been six and a half and sevens, but unfortunately because of the retake and the penalty of two points by each Dutch, yeah, that could have been sixes, instead it's four. So that means only 36, uh, uh, 39 points, sorry, 39 points for Lauren instead of, uh, that would have been, uh, with sixes, that would have been 54, so above average she... Instead of that, she gets 39 points, 194. Ooh, bad hurdle by... Uh, we have seen a lot of bad hurdles this morning. Uh, Saskia does a great job, though. She first of all takes off instead of stopping on the board, but she does an amazing job in the air, squeezing the pike position and a perfect lineup for great entry sevens from the judges. 63 points for the German diver. She's in fourth place at the moment. And she does a great job after a couple of mistakes here and there in the previous rounds. She improves her average, she kept on improving. Saskia got 49 points in the first dive, 51 in the second, 60, and then 63 now. She's improving every round. Claire Cryan, the leader after three rounds of dives, a reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Nicely done, another great dive by the Irish diver. I gotta say, I was expecting Claire to have, uh, to compete uh, the reverse and back two and a half somersault in a pipe position, because she seems to me strong enough to make them, but probably uh, what, after I saw this back and reverse, I gotta say that she does them very, very well in a tight position, so it could be just a matter of risk 
uh, that's why she chooses to do him tuck. Because tuck, she does him very, very well, and they're not as uh, risky. Grace Reed now. Forward three and a half summers of Pike. Nicely done. She is uh, going to end up up there in the top three ranked divers, most likely with this dive, because it's very, very well executed. Seventh uh, from the judges. Not bad at all. And she is in uh, second place now, Grace. Very good. Grace is uh, very, very focused. She does not drop a smile after her dives. She keeps her focus all the way until the end of the, of the competition. Oh, and I can tell you she is a very uh, funny and smiling young lady so that's that's why I noticed uh, she's always smiling around the pool but I saw it now very focused throughout the competition Juliet Landy now from France uh, a good reverse two and a half somersault tuck uh, just uh, a lot of splashes because she doesn't stay tight getting in the water five five and a half 182 points she's in 13th right now Chiara Pelacani now from Italy she is going to show us a reverse two and a half somersault pike. In the past, Chiara, she has been struggling with this dive, especially with the hurdle part of this dive. Uh, it became probably a mental thing. Let's see how she does this morning. Much better than usual on the takeoff. Yes, no problem at all with this reverse two and a half somersault pike. Uh, good overall dive, uh, definitely above average, very nice come out here, boom, placement of the hands, clean entry, and Kiana gets up on, in third place at 242 points, just three points behind the leader of the competition, Michel Einberg. Estila Mosina, Estila is... Uh, Sister of former Italian diver Noemi Batchi. Her mom, former Olympian from Hungary, Naji Ibolia. So it's a family of divers. And uh, Estila performed the front three half somersault tack. Unfortunately, way too short. She won't be in the top 12 after this round of dives. Total of 170 points, she's in 17. Next up is Lena Henschel, and Lena was 13th before this dive. She needs to step up and do good here, at least around average. Good top. Oh, an excellent dive, way above average for Lena. This is going to score above 60 points for sure. And she was on the last. Doesn't matter, I jump high and I come out at the right time to get a good lineup. That's what went through her head, for sure. Good job by Elena, 7.5, 66.209 points, and she is in 8th place. Cara Albiez now, uh, an inward 2.5 somersault tuck. She did a great job in the previous round with the back 2.5 somersault pike. See. Oh, she does, and this wouldn't work. She took a long time focus that was uh, she was up there rocking the board for a long long time uh, I don't know if she needed an extra focus over she was uh, afraid of this dive but she does another good dive overall too bad the entry she does not get all the way straight and in the water but seven and a half 44 points slightly below average big smile for Kara and a total of 172 points for her Madeline from Switzerland now. She needs fours to get in the top 12. Um, 
the forward three and a half somersault fight. Good hurdle. And a nice dive. Another dive for her that goes uh, above the average required in order to be in the final. Yes, exactly. I hear seven. And another dive, though, from her that she just doesn't grab her hands. So this could have been much, much better, but at least Madeline is in a place most likely not risking much on the last round of dives. So she has 20 points, 18 points advantage on the 12th ranked diver that we'll soon see on screen. We have, first of all, the leader, Michelle Ember, Grace Reed in second, Chiara Pelacan in third. And now the gap between the top four divers is just four points. Four divers in four points and, the, and 20 points between the first six. 12th place we see it here on screen is a Swedish diver Elna Widerstrom. Just uh, eight points ahead of the 13th place, place Lauren Alaselka. It's running behind uh, a little bit more um, is Anna Piznenska. Uh, the, the fight is going to be there between Elna and, and uh, Lauren most likely. Although I, I'm going to add Anna Piznenska in that group because... Uh, She's very, she's a, a very um, experienced diver. Anything could happen on the last round, too. So let's see how it goes. Back to now, somersault for Ella Tuxen. She was in 10, the solid execution. 2.8 degree of difficulty for this dive, and it should be above average. Yeah, exactly. 262 points for her. Above average, a good competition overall for LA and will uh, most likely, I'm going to say I'm pretty sure that we're going to see her later tonight for the final. Next up, Patricia Kuhn. Patricia is going to perform a back to half summer spike now. And another mistake for her, another dive below average for Patricia. She just does not get very high up in the air on her back to half somersault pike. And her pike position is just way too wide. She never squeezed. Good pike position needs to show perfect straight legs, pointed toes, but especially there must be no light, no room. No space in between the upper body and the legs. Let's see 12th place diver Elna, how she finishes her competition for um, two and a half summers of full twist. It's not bad, but I think this is not going to get very high in the scoring. She left the dive way too far short. She could have done a better job. It is above average. But usually what happens with the uh, divers, all the divers have the tendency to, it is above average, 54 points in this last dive, but divers have the tendency of leaving the best dive they have in last. So I expect the average of the last round of dives to be higher than the previous round. So 54 could be, uh, could be enough, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It is common for divers to start with their um, with the dive that is uh, less risky, more comfortable to start with. And as of uh, the, the the last dive, instead they leave uh, the one that they know they could score the most. That's how it goes. And in between, the the, the risky ones, the ones that they are either afraid of or have uh, some struggles with. That's how usually divers. Uh, think and now they build their list. Let's see now the leader of the competition so far, reverse two and a half somersault pike for uh, Michelle Ember. Oh, what an amazing top. What an amazing takeoff. Uh, it was excellent jump, very high and very, very fast in the air spinning. She probably too fast because she then came out and 
went way too far over. First dive below average for Michelle Emberg, just 46 points for her. Not risking anything because she did an amazing job before in her competition. So she closes at 291 points. Elisa Pizzini now reverts two and a half somersault pike. Elisa needs, uh, let's see, to get up with uh, Elna. She needs eight to get in front of Elna Widerstorm, who was in 12th place. Bad hurdle. And she does a good job, but definitely not going to get eight. And uh, Elisa needs uh, some help from the other divers. She needs to... If she wants to make the final, she most likely... No, no, no. Even four and a half. Oh. Well, just one judge gave her four and a half. Uh, the other one gave her sixes. It is a... It would have been a good dive uh, above average for 54 points, but she encountered too many mistakes throughout the, the morning routine, so probably not going to make it. 238 is uh, quite below average. It would have been enough last year to make the final, but not probably most likely not here today. Kaya Skerzek now. Last dive is a forward two and a half somersault, full twist. Uh, not bad in the air. It was a uh, less dive uh, end up too far over getting in the water. Um, she comes out of the of the somersault very very fast and doesn't have the right reaction coming out of the twist when lining up. That makes the dive and legs go past the vertical line. So she. Kaya now uh, is done with her list and closes at 212. We will not see her later this afternoon. Teresa Dielinkova refers to an half somersault tuck for the Czech diver. Very, very talented. I am expecting to see a big improvement by this young diver from Prague in the next few years. She's a, I want to remind you, she's just 14, the youngest here. Big smile from her, from Teresa. She closes at 221. Not in the final today, but I want to uh, want to congratulate myself with her because she did an amazing job today. Four one and a half somersault full twist for Alexandra Blaskova, Blazovska, excuse me. A uh, very, very easy dive for the young uh, Polish diver. Uh, she was in 25th place and uh, now is, she's already outside the top 12 ranked divers. 201 points, she's in 16th. And the journey now on the board for her last dive. Uh, the British diver is going to show us an inward two and a half summer supply. 3.0 degree of difficulty. The journey needs uh, fours to be. Excuse me, she needs seven and a half to be in first, and just fours and threes to be in the top three. So, not not risking anything with this dive. She does a good job, probably not getting on top of the rankings in front of Michelle Amber, but definitely around there. Um, exactly as I said, right now, 288 just three points behind Michelle Amber. She's in second place and sure of being in the final later tonight. We gotta keep in mind more or less um, that Elna Witherstorm is the one that was in 12th place and uh, more or less uh, divers should get around 255 total points after the last round. That means that Anna Pizmenska with this dive would need uh, uh, 50, 65 points, and I do not think she's going to get them. 65 points. The, the entry is not completely straight. Some judges deduct a lot of points. We have some disagreement here from judges. Some four and a half, a seven, 240, and we will most likely, unless something 
happens to the other dives, we will not see Anna Pismenska in the final tonight. Rocio Velasquez, she was 11th. Re, uh, the forward to and a half summers of Pike full twist. And as slightly short, she could have held on to the Pike position a little bit longer or jumped higher. One of these two aspects in order to have a better entry. And she is slightly before, she is way be below average, just 45, po 46 points with this dive, 250. She is at risk now with this dive. After this dive, 250 might be not enough. And uh, Emilia Nielsen Grip now, inward two and a half, Somersault Pike. 3.0 degree of difficulty, she was in fifth place. Way short. I was not expecting this. She, I was not expecting this uh, by the Swedish diver, which still has no problem making the final with this. Um, but it's definitely short. This is a huge mistake for someone who is looking to get a medal this afternoon. She will be back here trying again uh, tonight. In third place at the moment, but she will need a better, a better dive to close her competition this afternoon. And Celine Van Duen, 70 point, 75 points to be ahead of the Swedish diver. Ooh, nice dive. I doubt that, she, that she's gonna get 75 points, 75 points, but this is her best dive. Too bad she had some big mistakes in the previous rounds because this is very well executed, above average, and uh, yeah, too bad uh, she does not reach uh, the 255 points uh, needed to be in the final, more or less 255 points. 227 to close the ranking. She is already in 12 with many divers still to come. Amelie first, Forster from uh, Romania. Back one and a half, somersault one and a half twist for the young diver from Bucharest. Nicely done. It is a very easy dive, this one. Uh, the degree of difficulty is just 2.4. She does a good job with that. Good and clean entry. She closes at 224 points in 13th place at the moment. Lauren Alaselka. And uh, now Lauren, after the mistake in the previous round where she stopped from the hurdle 194 that means she needs um 60 points or oh no another big mistake by the finnish diver she will not be in the final tonight i can tell you that right away she completely ro lost control of her leg in the pipe position we see it here not she barely grabs her knees with her fist and doesn't squeeze that. It was uh, not a good dive. Three and a half, 224, and she is not happy with that. Obviously, obviously. Already 13th, she's already out of the final, even with a lot of divers still to go. Saskia Ottinghaus, back to now, Somerset Pike, and Saskia was in seventh. She needs uh, 30 points, probably 30 to 40 points to be sure she's in the in the top 12 divers. But she is capable also with seven and a half to get ahead of everyone in the rankings. Probably not going to happen. Probably six to six and a half on this dive that goes slightly over. And uh, but no problem at all making the final for Saskia. We'll see more of her diving in the afternoon. Yep. And the judges were uh, didn't like this dive as much as I liked it. Probably five and a half, six less. I would have been a little bit higher on that, but I am not a judge. I'm sure they know better than me. 274.95 total scores for Saskia. See you back this afternoon. And now Claire Cryan. Inward two and a half somersault tuck. Another dive that I think she could... She, she is, in my opinion, strong enough to make a pike. And she decides to just go with the tuck one, though. 2.7 degree of difficulty. Another great dive by the Irish diver. 
who is, uh, didn't need much to be in the top 12 um, and with uh, six and a half could actually get in front of everyone. Not gonna do that, but just a tiny bit behind uh, Michel Hamburg, who is still in the lead with 291 points. Then Claire ends up at 288 in second place. Nice job by the Irish diver. Grace Reed now. Her last dive is an inward two and a half somersault pike. Grace needs um, probably if around five and a half, maybe sixes to be in first. And she does that, for sure. Um, she will get ahead of everyone in the rankings after her last dive. Well, well executed, very well executed. Probably needed a little bit better jump to score more points, especially tonight in the final. She'll need a better takeoff if she wants seven and a half and eight. That's for sure. The, the, the level will improve tonight, for sure. So that's why I'm already thinking of what she might need to get gold, because that's what she's aiming for, for sure. 300 total points for Grace, and she's in first. Juliette Landy, the 20th diver, there are still five divers after her to dive. She needs a six and a half sevens to be in the top 12 spots. Uh, she, she'll get around that. She loses control of her feet while twisting. Probably uh, judges notice that and deduct a few points. Uh, yeah, we see it here. Our feet are not next to each other. They're kind of one top of the other. Judges notice that. Very young diver, she'll have time to improve and be back at European Championship and do much, much better than what she has done today. 231 points, not far away from uh, 255 points mark that we set before, which dropped drastically in this last round. I was expecting the last round to be much, much better, and instead it was not. Inward to now, Somerset Pike for Chiara Pelacani, who has no problem at all getting in the top three ranked divers after her last round of dives. To be top three, she needed five and a half. She'll, she'll get much, much more than that. And Chiara gets six and a half, sevens. No problem for her making the final tonight. She is in second place after her last round of dives. And now on the board, we have Estilla Mosina. She was in 20th. She's going to perform an inward two and a half somersault tuck on her last dive. It is not possible for her to make the final. Unfortunately, too many mis mistakes throughout the competition. And another one right here. Uh, way too far over in the lineup of the inward to half some sort of tuck. <coughs> Four and a half and fives from the judges, way too far over for Estilla. Total of 207 points. Lena Enschel now. Lena was at 209 points. Uh, I'd say that with 45 points on this last dive, she should have no problem making it to the final. And she does much, much better than that. She deserves to go around 65 points and uh, put her at around the 270, 75 mark. Around the 270, 275, I'd say. Yeah, that's how it goes. Seven from the judges. It's a very well executed forward to have somersault full twist. The entry could have been cleaner, but overall, a great job. Uh, great comeback by Lena that started not very well her uh, first couple of rounds of dives. We got Cara Albiez now, and after her Madeline Cocuz, who's the last diver diving today, Anna Pismenska at the moment is at 240 points. So Cara has uh, no chance of getting up there with her uh, reverse enough somersault tuck, but Madeline does, because Madeline is at 220 and will need only 20 points, 21 points to pass ahead of Anna Pismenska, who is in 12th place at the moment. So that's uh, who's at risk. 
50. Big smile by Alba uh, Cara Albiez. Finishes with five and a half. Her competition. Not a bad job at all by the Austrian diver. And now here is the last dive that will tell us who the top 12 divers will make and that will make it to the final tonight. Again, just uh, 20 points. She needs a two and a half from the judges to make it to the final. Back to half, Summers of Pike. Not wonderful, but good enough to get more than a two and a half. We see Pavel Rosenberg, her coach, big smiles, big, big smiles from him. Five and a half from the judges, and we are done with this dive. We're done uh, with the with the first competition of the day, preliminary round of the women's three-meter uh, springboard event. 269 for 95 for Madeline in ninth place. She is in the final, and soon on the screen you'll see the final rankings and the, especially the 12 top 12 ranked divers that will show up again this afternoon at 7 o'clock for the final. So Grace Reed from Great Britain, Chiara Pelacani from Italy, Michel Amberg from Switzerland, the German band Hashmail from Great Britain, Claire Cryan from Ireland, Emilia Nielsen Grip from Sweden, Saskia Ottinghaus from Germany, Lena Enschel from Germany, Madeleine Kokus from Switzerland, Ella Tuxem from Norway, Elna Fiederstrom from, uh, from Sweden, Rocio Velasquez from Spain is the last one who qualified for the final. After that, the remaining divers in the ranking have been shown on screen. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure being with you this morning. I am Michele Benetti. As you see, the diving schedule for the day is on screen. At, six, at 3 o'clock, the men's synchronized 10 meter platform final, and at 7 o'clock, the women's 3 meter springboard final. I'll be back here later this afternoon to watch with you these two finals of the day. Have a great afternoon. I will see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>